there's an expression that I've said on this podcast many times, but I'll say it again, is that hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Mm -hmm. Soft men create hard times. Wow. We are now around soft men and hard yeah. times. Yeah. We're, we're in the time of toxic masculinity, right? Yeah. Where you could be toxically male. Yeah. And then if you're, if you're suppressing masculinity, you're, you're going to bring on hard times. You're going, there's, it doesn't mean, masculinity doesn't mean you're mean. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're angry. It means strength. Yes. It means dis discipline. It yeah. means the ability, like, like you need a military. And if you yeah. don't think you, you need a military, you need to go and pay attention to the rest of the world because there's militaries all over the world that are doing horrific things. If you don't have a military in this country that can combat that and at least act as a deterrent to them doing things, you're going to get taken over. Yeah. That's what's happened. I mean, look what's happening to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. right? I mean, this is a, a city that essentially doesn't have a military, mm -hmm. and they were a British colony for a long time, and they gave it back over to China, and they were kind of acting like they were independent until recently, yeah. and during the pandemic, they ramped it up, and it's gotten even worse. Yeah. It's exactly what we talked about. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be weak. Yeah. And in this country, being weak is thought of as a virtue. Yeah. Jordan Peterson has a really interesting way of looking at this, and he said it to me once, and it, it made a lot of sense. He said, people think that you should be weak, and you should be docile, and then you, you, you should be a pacifist. He goes, no, you should be a monster. He said, you should be a monster, you should be ruthlessly ambitious, and then learn how to control it. Mm. And it's that old expression. It's better to be a warrior in a garden yeah. than a gardener in a war. Wow. It's an old expression, but it makes sense. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you can't be kind yeah. if you're strong. But it does mean you can't be strong if you're weak. Yeah. If you're weak, you're fucked. And there's a lot of weak people in this country right now that are trying to take control. And they're gathering up all the other weak people and they say, yeah, let's all be weak together. Yeah. And they're willing to embrace all sorts of ideas that have been disproven, not just disproven, that have caused the deaths of untold millions of people yeah. in Maoist China and Stalinist Russia. And it's crazy. And yeah. they, they're short sighted and they're short sighted because in the short term, they want their tribe to win, and there's so many weak people that'll join along with them. There's so many just simple-minded dullards that just want to promote their tribe. Yeah. I mean, they encourage you to be triggered. Yeah. They encourage you to be weak, right? When you go there, they, they try not to expose you to any reality. 